Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is so nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today is another Halloween decor hunting video, and I have today only to film all of this. So I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm gonna try to go to as many places as I can. I am, we're gonna do Home Depot, we're gonna do Walmart, we'll do Target. We'll also obviously hit a TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I think also a Ross. So I've got a lot I'm trying to get done today. Last week was my birthday and so I kind of took a few days off and just like stayed home and rest and didn't do anything. And now I'm realizing, oh my goodness, I did not film anything for this week's video. <laughs> so we're cramming it all in one day. <laughs> First, I do wanna show my little, look at my little skeleton hand hair clips. These are the ones I got at Target. Uh, these are last week or week before and then my little Batsy Batsy earrings. I love these. I got these last year from Frightful Findings. My favorite little shops on Etsy. I'll link them down in the description below if you want to check out their stuff. Lindsay is the sweetest girl and she makes some really, really cool items. But yeah, I'm here at Home Depot. I we had such amazing luck at Lowe's last week. So I'm really hoping maybe Home Depot will have some of their stuff out as well. I'm really excited to see if they do. So um, let's just head inside. Let's head into Home Depot. Okay, so they have the box. This is like that massive jack o' lantern stack, and they have some stuff back there, but they have it closed off. All the employees are working on getting stuff out. There's a massive ton of boxes, some stuff on the shelf. So I imagine, I imagine maybe give it another few days. Um, so I'll probably check again for next week, and we'll have everything out. But yeah, there's like eight employees in there, like a ton of boxes. They have some of the Rotten Patch stuff, which I'm really excited for. I always miss it every year, so. Ooh, yeah, there's so many employees over there. Wow. Ooh, I'm excited to see this. Okay, so, but yeah. Let me switch you around. I'll give you another quick view. We got some of them, Jack. Oh, you can't see the Rotten Patch anymore, but. Look at all the employees. <laughs> so, it's coming soon at least. I'm really excited. So that was exciting friends. I know we didn't actually really get to see anything, but I'm happy to see they're starting to put it out because I will be honest, I did a little a sneak peeking on the website last night and there was nothing showing in stock. So it was like, oh man. So I was kind of, I was kind of expecting to go in there and see absolutely nothing, which would have been like a huge bummer, especially after how Lowe's was so amazing last week. Um, and I will say when I went in, I was expecting, I guess, to be right when you go in on the left side, which I guess is where they honestly have like a lot of the gardening stuff, but I was expecting it to be there because that's kind of where Lowe's keeps theirs, but it's actually if you go in and it's more in the middle between like customer service and then the registers on the other end of the store. So um, if you're going to yours and you're checking, checking like the middle section of like the front of the store, like a lot where they have like seasonal, so it makes sense that it would be there. Um, they were getting rid of a lot of their, their patio stuff and their, their summery outdoor stuff. So I knew it was coming. I was like, it's got it. And then I just happened to pop over and see like the head of the top of the like nine foot or 12 foot jack o' lantern stack. I don't know how big it is. Probably not 12 feet, but massive it looked like. And then just seeing all the employees in there and all those boxes, I was like, oh, it's coming. It's coming which I'm very excited to see. So what I'm gonna do now, I am going to head to Target first. I am gonna look in the bullseye section. We'll also look in the, not in the very back. I can't, I mean, I'll look in the very back, but I, I anticipate back to school stuff's probably still gonna be there, but I will look, especially near the dishes, cause I wanna find those threshold items. And maybe I'll look near the, back in the home area to see if they have any like blankets or pillows and anything like that. So um, I'll see you at Target. All right, we're in the tar Target parking lot, but if you've been around here, you know the deal. I gotta show you my outfit of the day. I have this cute shirt. It's like a vampire lady shirt. This is from Black Craft Cult. I got it, I don't know, maybe last year, or year before they were running a sale and it was like $10 shirt or something, or if you made an order, you got a free shirt. So I'm wearing that and just some jeans and my Halloween little slide thingies that I showed you last week. All right, we're outside Target. Let's head in. You guys, they have a ton in the dollar section. Look at this little Batsy Batsy. Do you light up? You do. Okay, how much are you? Five dollars. 
All right. I gotta get Batsy Batsy. <laughs> Been here long enough, you know I love bats. They have some little skull. Oh, these are actually glass. Come closures. That's plastic. The tissues. They also had jack lantern, ghost, gnome. They have these really cool looking like, black potion bottles. Huh. Those are five dollars too. These black and white one. That's cool. Kind of wish this was like gold though. I wish maybe it was like silver. I'm trying to see all the way. There was the gal putting stuff out. And... Ooh, wow. Okay, look at these bottles. This is beautiful. Five dollars? I actually really like that. Ooh. There's a slide up. Oh. They're five dollars too. Everything's like five dollars this year. Should be called the five dollar spot. There's a hand. This is plastic. Oh, they have sets of the lights. Five dollars. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there's all the towels we saw last week. They do have, it looks like, some like little things to put, I don't know, stuff in. I like this spider web. Oh my god, five dollars. <laughs> Truly, five dollars flat. Um, they have bubble ones. There's little <laughs> witch hat. Skeleton. It looks like they also have a jack o' lantern one. Oh, they have these paper items. There, there's witch hats, cats. They have the bats. I got these last year. Honestly, these are amazing. They are a dollar. I got. I'm actually gonna get another one. I got, I think, two of these last year. I put them up around my staircase, and I've kept them out year-round. <laughs> oh, the socks, Pete. I am a sock fanatic. <gasps> White and black striped. Oh no, it's skeleton hands. These are kind of cute. This has trick or treat. So it looks like some of these are kids' sizes. But if you're like me and have small feet, oh, these are adult ones. Oh my gosh, yes. Cats, bats, these are kids too. So it seems like majority of them are kids' sizes. Except for that one. That's gotta be an adult, yeah. That's kind of cute. Yep. <laughs> And then the skeleton are kid ones. Looks like there's maybe like four different designs. They have some little kids books. These are fun. Two different ones right here. These are three dollars. Wow. Kids be getting the cheap stuff, huh? Oh my god. Look at this cute little sippy cup. The witch hat. Jack o' lantern. Ooh. So they had these last year. I got a black one, but honestly, this iridescent one, this is gorgeous. This would be great for like spring, winter even. I have some, uh, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. This is just a ball. What do you do with it? Throw it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Sorry if you have epilepsy. Um, trigger warning on that, but look, you throw them and then they... Flashy, flashy, flashy. You have more potion bottles, like a set of those. Okay, it looks like the lady's out of the way. I'm gonna take a quick peek. Yeah, these. Oh, they still have those buckets. I really like the jack o' one. More of the cloches still. Some little wreath projects, wreath kits. So it looks like, honestly, some of the stuff we've seen before, but yeah. There's a little fairy door. Honestly. Okay, yes. There's this little mirror. Ooh. Tiny snake tree. Okay, I like you too. Five dollars for that. that. This is nice. They have a little spider web mirror thing. You could probably put, I don't know, a candle in front of it or some little tiny decoration thingies. <laughs> okay, so they do have some of the little trees. They're very glittery this year. Actually, they're not actually really pretty though. They are much smaller than they were in years past, but $5. But somebody was saying these are really good for um, different heights. So I have some of the other ones and they're quite a bit taller. This I like how twiggy they are though. The glittery is actually very pretty. So I'm going to get a couple of those. And they have some big burlap bags. They do have this one jack-o'-lantern. 
I like it, but it looks like it's already turned on. Or it was already turned on. But again, the gold. Oh no, these are not bags. These are like little rugs. With a jack o' lantern And then the other one says, Happy Halloween. Okay, so they have some of the like family matching pajamas. They have these that have like those little fun creatures. These are 25 for like men's kids. It's like they're 15. They have a skeleton, dinosaurs, there's jack-o'-lanterns, and the same. But I feel like they had these same designs last year, or at least very similar to them. These are cute. I love the idea of, I don't know, matching as a family. <laughs> All right, over in the pet section, this is the cat area. So they have, they actually have the same exact thing last year. My cats really love these flavors, I will say. Then they have oh, a small thing of tasty humans. Good to know. <laughs> um, greenies. Scaredy cats. I've never heard of that, actually. Oh, the Temptations. What, what variety is it? Oh, it's a variety pack. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Chicken, seafood, creepy crap. Crap. Catnip tantalizing turkey. Which is this? I don't know. And then those are all fall things. Let's see. I have oh, a couple outfits. <laughs> Look at these. And then nothing on the dog side. So that's what we have in the pet section so far. Okay. So in the dishware, I found two different mugs. These are under the hide and eat mugs. It's a little jack-o'-lanterns and there's a witch princess. Witch please. I will say how much are these? I don't know. Oh seven dollars. They were both way way back up under here so definitely like I don't know if you're looking for them maybe look at the bottom look in the back. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. I was so excited. We saw all that stuff. There's actually some really cute items this year. There's some stuff that like, especially if you have a darker aesthetic, these are totally your own pieces. Like that little snake tray, that was really cute. I could see me just putting like some candles on it or something. Uh, I ended up, I think I filmed it. I got the little glass bottle with the snake on it as well. Even though I'm not a huge snake person. I think I've mentioned this before, but I do really love the nature aspect of it and it just really works with a lot of my other like very witchy decor. So I went ahead and got it. It was very nice. It was like a full glass bottle, like thick. It was worth $5 to me. Some of those other things, maybe not $5 worth, but I still really liked them. I did get a couple trees. I got a little snake tray, like I said, the bottle, the, the like little, oh my gosh, it was almost like a vampire dark aesthetic fairy door. And I love that so much. I really love fairy stuff. I'm really excited. I'm, I think if I put it outside, it would probably disintegrate. So I might find somewhere to put it inside the house, but it was so precious. I really, really loved it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna head to Walmart now. And now this one, I did again look at some sneak peeks on the website. It shows they're having some stuff in stock and I'm really, really excited about several of them. So um, let's just head to Walmart. Actually, before Walmart, um, we're gonna go to Ross. I realized on my way to Walmart that there is a Ross this way. So we're gonna go to this one. There's also another Ross that I'm hoping to go to today, depending on how tired I am after Walmart. Cause I just really want that gold and black blanket and I'm determined to find it this year. So um, let's go in. Hopefully this time it's a little bit less uh, in disarray than last time. Let's head into Ross. Head into Ross. All right, so I'm having to do another bit of a voiceover. Every time we go to Ross, this seems to be a trend. They like to play really loud music. Um, the It was a little bit cleaner this time, I will say, and there was a little bit more out than there was at last time at this location, so I was happy to see that. It still wasn't super well stocked, um, but there were some really cute pieces. This little bowl right here that was pretty, kind of Victorian style. And then... I think we'll see it here in a minute or so. Oh, that that moth pumpkin. But there's this spiderweb bowl. I actually really liked this. I almost got it. It was really nice and thick. It was only $9.99. I thought it'd be great for like, I don't know. It says this is a candy bowl. Be used it for whatever. Blankets, there were only a couple. No black and gold one. There was a couple of towels and like soap things. I thought this was Halloween, but it was Mickey Mouse. And then... <laughs> 
<laughs> there, oh yeah, and this gold thing. I know what it was. It was actually a really pretty lotus, lotus flower dish. A couple table runners, and then this one really cute Joanna Parker soap dispenser. That was it. Alrighty, let's head into Walmart. Inside Walmart so far, there's like two whole rows plus like a back wall of like kids costumes. So they're definitely getting those out. Have some pajamas for little kids. These are cute. They even have more costumes. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, they have some shirts. So these are shirts we saw other day, but then they have this new design. The haunted house. It's cute. Another wall of costume. Then we're starting to see some of the decor. So a lot of different outdoor stuff hanging up. You got all your ghosties. There's a color changing ghost. That's interesting. Spiders. The boneyard. Uh, clam. Tombstones. Fog machines. So this is a lot of your outdoor stuff have some stuff for costumes so like stuff makeup the whole makeup section not super well stocked but there's a little bit right now what i'm looking for is the decor a bunch of stuff for parties so you have straws paper goods cups little, tiny little pails buckets some snacks these are a lot of like i love these little baggies to do um little treat bags for trick-or-treaters since I don't get a ton I end up doing treat bags for them and I'll put a bunch of stuff in it all the different carving stuff a few little blow molds hair power blow molds I got some skeletons these are 35 for they are five foot ah here's the decor okay these things. Okay, so I get one of these every year. I'm gonna get the little Batsy Batsy one. Oh, they have also a little sugar skull skeleton. It's like a little skeleton cat. So it's those three varieties this year. I love those. I keep them in the window near my little work desk. They're just really cute. Please look at this. Oh, he's creepy. 574. Oh. I like how creepy it is though. Day of the Dead. Oh, they do some fragrance warmers. There is two different skeleton ones. I never end up seeing these, so that's kind of cool to see those. I do need some battery operated tea lights, so I think I'm gonna get a couple sets of those. That wreath up there is pretty. A couple signs. It's a velvety pumpkin stack. That's nice. There is. Oh, a little metal coffin shelf thingy that's kind of cool that's $8.98 not bad for that honestly gel cleans and then these this is new this year i feel like wow i like they're and they're kind of velvety feeling so i don't know how how they would do against paint uh, if they're gonna pull it off but that's cool they got a bunch of different lights these are really nice i always get some not always but last couple years i've gotten some especially like the battery operated ones I really, really like those. Oh my gosh, they do have the Squishmallows. Look, this rainbow bat. Oh my gosh. They have a little witchy cat. There is <laughs> like a vampire kind of owl. Witch. And then a happy little, little jack-o'-lantern. These are really cute. I love this. They're $24. I don't need another one, so I'm going to leave it be, but these are adorable. They have some different pillows. There's a boo. There's this cat. I think they had this cat one last year. Um, there is a jack-o'-lantern. Now it says totally wicked. Are these double-sided? No. Nah. Um, and then there is witch legs. I think those are the only Halloween styles. Everything else. Oh, there's a black cat one. I think. Yeah, black cat silhouette. Everything else appears to be mostly fall. They have a bunch of different like little bows. 
little hair bows. Ooh, these are open ones. These are so cute. Oh my God, these bats. Look at that, these are so cute. These are all 328 it looks like. A lot of different designs. They also have some headbands. Most look like different cat ears. So that's what we saw in Walmart. And I got the little solar thing and those two little tea light containers. And then I have no, I have no restraint when it comes to squishies. I got the like, it's, it says he's a gargoyle. I rang it up as a gargoyle. His name is Dion. He's a wizard tabletop games, but sometimes his wings flap and blow all the pieces down. At least he's got his fiery hiccups under control and he has a squad to help him get the game back on track. Do you have what it takes to play with Dion? So yeah, I guess they're calling him a gargoyle. He has this bat, but he also has these and like, oh, the sun's messing up. Look at his fangs and he's just like this, I don't know, cute, adorable, sunset colored, gargoyle bat. And he's just, I love how big he is. Like for me, that is almost torso size. So like when I'm having a really bad pain day, like something that big is just really nice to lay on. I'm sorry, Craig, if you see this, I'm, I'm sorry, I got another Squishmallow. I have one other big one kind of like this, it's a cat I got last year at Kroger of all places. Um, but he was the only bat gargoyle, whatever you want to call him, he was the only one of this in that big bin. There was a ton of witches, there was a bunch of the like Jack Lantern, there was something else dressed up as a witch I think he was the only one of this and so I was like if I don't get him I'm gonna really really regret it and I use these pillows enough that it'll be it'll be it's worth it it's worth it I've been needing actually another big pillow to put behind me when I am like trying to read in bed so <laughs> yay okay <laughs> all right my inner child just came out and was like all the squishy and fluffy things <laughs> what we're gonna do now we are gonna go to there is a ross and tj maxx little section we're gonna go to and then after that i might then go to the good home goods and tj maxx and then we'll wrap it up after that but i'm so excited i'm glad walmart's starting to put some of their stuff out i'm really excited especially some of the pieces i've seen online are like these very vintage inspired items so i'm really really excited okay let's head to Ross and TJ Maxx. All right, here's Ross, we'll head in there. There's also a five below right next to it. I might check that out too, see if they have any other Halloween yet, but let's go into Ross first. All right, so another voiceover time. Um, I will say this Ross out of all of them has been the best well stocked. There were some really nice pieces, um, or at least it seemed like this ghost bowl, super cute. I just don't really have a place for it, slash I feel like I would break it. Um, and these. I guess kind of knockoff Ray Dunn stuff. It was actually really cute. I love that iridescence. They had some nice mugs. They had that spider bowl again that we saw earlier. This mug, the handle is a broom. Oh my gosh. I thought that was really cute. I hadn't seen anything quite like that before. They did have some of the like metal pieces. This was the spider web one. I'm still just really looking for any of the bat stuff. So I left this there um, just because I feel like somebody who might, you know, want spider stuff more than I would would really, uh, really love it. They have some signs, they have some of that outdoor stuff. Um, this bottle looked really pretty from afar, but it, was, it felt very cheap and light and I don't know. It was pretty, I just wish it was nicer quality, I'll say that. And they had some more signs. It looks like a lot of these light up. I'm not sure what parts light up, but... Um, oh, and then there was another metal spiderweb thing, but it's like a slightly different design. And then the rest, there was just some more tabletop decor. I did see another Joanna Parker soap thing. We had the owl, and this time also the cat as well. They had some different lights, like pathway lights, um, and different like little stakes and fairy lights that were spider fairy lights. <laughs> and then, oh, the boo, this little ghost pillow was really, really cute. And another bottle. Again, I love this. I just wish this was silver. Um, instead of gold and maybe a little bit better quality would have been really nice and then some more just pathway lights um, This was a really pretty table runner and then a few blankets Okay, so that was Ross. Let's head into five below and see if they have anything All right, so they did not have any Halloween yet in five below um, where they normally have they still have all of their back-to-school stuff so um, I am gonna head over to TJ Maxx. It's just a couple stores down so I might as well just walk there um we'll see what they have today all right so they have a little table right in the front there's 
this spider web thing. This is interesting. Candle holder. Oh, spider lamps. These are ones I don't think we've seen yet. They have like orange on the inside. Like two different sizes. Let's see. $24.99. So these are more expensive than the iridescent ones that I got. So we got, oh, this one's already got. Love it. Okay. Some blankets. <laughs> Some like sugar skull jack o' lanterns. Uh, more jack o' lanterns. Spider. And then the same thing. Let me check towards the back of the store now. All right, so they have some pajama pants. These are the ones I got last year, these fuzzy ones. They ripped at the seam within like, I don't know, a month and a half of wearing, and they weren't like too small or anything. They're very, very comfortable, but I don't know, maybe this year's will be better quality, but I don't know. I'm a little sad about that. They have this really nice plushy black robe. The back says, this girl loves Halloween. Oh my gosh, and then there are some nice pockets in it. This is $16.99. Oh my gosh. I want this. I wish it had a hood though, I will say. <laughs> Maybe that's asking too much for my room, but it's really plushy. I like it. Hocus Pocus leggings. I think a lot of the other shorts and everything we've already seen. No me's. <laughs> okay. So there are these, I think these are ghost tea lights. Um, this is the coffin pillow I got last year at Home Sweet Home. So it looks like they brought that back. There's a big spiderweb thingy. There's, ooh, what is this? Spiderweb pillow. Pillow pillow. Ooh, that's soft. I like that, that's really nice. Let's see, there are some Joanna Parker mugs. Let's see what we got. Oh no, it looks like they're both just that, that creamer thing that we got last week. A lot of the Raiden stuff, it looks like. The mugs still. Oh, this is adorable. How much are you? Got $30. I mean, it lights up, but there's zero chance I'd pay $30. No. Oh, see, I already have a spider. Oh, I got the vampire guy. That's right. I got them both. Those bowls down there, those are cute. Okay, continuing on. Ooh. Yeah, I already got this too. <laughs> so one thing I'm seeing, these are so cool. These are storage books. It's different to kind of take on like, it's more of a celestial thing than just sort of Halloween. I really love those, especially if you do like, if you do like a witchy thing year round. I think those are really cute. <gasps> Look at you. Oh my gosh, how much are you? 15, why yes. Yes, I shall. Are there any, there's no things inside of it. Oh yeah, there are. <laughs> Batsies, yep. Oh my gosh. I could do without this flower, but look at him. $7.99 for him. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm not prepared to buy anything here today. Well, I'm for sure getting this because this is precious. Okay, here's overview. Looks like most of the stuff we've already seen. Cute little jar thing. Oh, I have no restraint against all the cute things, you all. No restraint. Oh, there's so many of the little guy. Okay, cool. Uh, this location is very well stocked. A lot of different spatulas. Well, I still haven't seen my fat cat mug yet again. I'm mad I didn't get it when I initially saw it. So that was everything in that TJ Maxx. I'm really, really happy we went there. I was almost going to be like, no, because I feel like a lot of TJ Maxx is lately like, they have some, but not a ton of stuff. And so I'm always like, I don't know if it's worth the energy to go. But that so was. I did get the little um, pumpkin snow globe thing. I'm so excited I found that. I remember watching it, um, or you know, keeping an eye on it on the Christmas Traditions website. I'm pretty sure that sucker was like at least $30. So to get it for $14.99, oh my gosh. I did get the little vampire guy. 
I'm probably going to change out the flower on the top and put like, I don't know, like a black mom or something like that or black, black dahlia. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll do something, um, just to make it a little bit more Halloween rather than that one's made a little too much fall for the rest of the decor. <laughs> I'm going to, let's go to the other TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and then after that I'm gonna be done because I am getting tired and I don't have much space left on my phone. Oh my gosh, it's telling me I'm running out of space. Okay, I'm gonna stop chatting and I'll see you at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. <laughs> All right, we're here. Let's head into Home Goods. Ooh, it is busy in here today, so I'm just gonna try and go things kind of quickly. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Okay. I love it's green. I don't love the sound. These witty ladies. I got this last year. It is so cute. And it doesn't make any sound. It just looks like it's, you know, a little cauldron doing its thing. This should be an overview of things. Anything new? Feel free. Feel free to pause if you see anything you like. This is fun. All right, well, apparently don't light up that well. Oh, okay. Okay, I feel like a lot of this I've already seen. Ooh, I do like this. Um, look at that one. It's like a little vampire in a mummy costume or something. That's adorable. Right. <laughs> oh my god, this cat. Those things just made me laugh. <laughs> They're so silly and so adorable. And they've got the shelves packed now. This is so exciting. Oh, the little, this is small. I think this is smaller than what I have. Maybe not. Oh, look at this thing. That's crazy. I do like this one. It glows in the dark. That's adorable. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so cute. It is so busy in here today. It's a Tuesday. Like, it's not a holiday. What the heck? There's so many people. I'll try my best, but this feels like a weekend, so I may end up just filming and doing voiceovers if it feels like I could show you stuff better that way. Okay, so most of this decor, oh, there's a big bat. That is really cute. It's a standing up version of the little one we've seen before. But most of the decor we've seen, but this little hand, skeleton hand holding a tea light candle holder. Those are cool. I've not seen those before. Oh my god. Well, witchy mouse. All right, so in the dishes section, I love this mug. I've never seen that last year. That's cute. They have these like pop carry bottle plates. There's that size and then there's one big one. Ooh, there's this bat, like dip trio situation. That's kind of cool. You guys can see there's a mummy cup up there. Look at this cat. I'm gonna have to get this canister. I love it. They have they have some big platters down there. Look at this apothecary one. The Raven and Cauldron. How much are you? $15. I don't know if I need you, but you're gorgeous. Here's everything else we got in this section. It is haunted house like dish. This is like a big, big like salad bowl. They also have some little platter, uh, tiny like, it's almost like you could put a cake on it, but it'd have to be tiny. But they have some bigger ones too. These are cool. I love this design. I just, I would break these. <laughs> they're too delicate for me, but they're gorgeous. Here's the blanket situation. It's nice little fuzzy ones. Look at this cat one. It's a cat with like, Pink pumpkins. Right and black. I feel like we've seen all the pillows. They're starting to actually looks like getting a little low on pillows. Squad bowls. I feel like we've seen all the rest of these. So here is all the different lamps they have. So we saw a spider web earlier, so apparently there are like 
almost three different sizes, I think, of the spider webs. There's like tiny one, middle, and massive one. So massive one is 30. That one we said was 24. And the little one I think is 19. 1999 at least. There's different skull ones too. Okay, so good lord, like I said, it was busy. Um, I got the little black cat canister. I love it so much. And then I don't know if I recorded it or not, but in the kitchen section, they had some mortar and pestles. They have one that has um, little black bats on it. It's like spooky, like smaller mortar and pestles. So that was cute, $7.99. I did get that as well because I'm always finding stuff for my kitchen. Let's head into TJ Maxx. Look at this little witchy girl. She's so cute. They do have the spider web lamp, at least the small ones here. So I feel like if you're looking for them, you're probably gonna have a good chance of getting them. But I got that little guy last year. I love him. He is so quirky. Oh, I love this bowl. I've seen this several places now. I just love the artwork on it. $9.99 for that. Farmer Joe Jack on turn. They still have these skull plates we saw last time we were here. Um, definitely getting a lot of Hocus Pocus stuff in. Ooh. It's a different culture mug. I like the green drippy around it. It's cute. Look at those, those shoes. <laughs> I love these things. I wish they had something more battery operated though. Because I don't have a plug-in option outside. Look at this. Spooky teapot. That's different. You don't see that. Look at these. These are kind of cool. More Farmer Joe. Oh my gosh. Farmer Joe's are... Oh. So many much farmer joes. Um, now I'm starting to feel invaded. <laughs> Look at that. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's look at the next table. Uh, oh, they still have these platters. I really love those. Those are so cute. Did the Brie Baker always have feet on it? I don't remember, but that's adorable. Okay, pumpkins. Pumpkins. Pumpkin. Snacks. Where are the blankets? They move the blankets? Oh no, I see them. Oh, look at this one. That's so cute. 17. Oh, this is just cute. Very traditional Halloween things. All right, so that's everything from TJ Maxx. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beat you at the house and I wanna do a haul of a couple of things I got yesterday when it was out. I wasn't filming, I was just out hanging with my friend Claire and um, I happened to go to at home and I got a couple of things as well as Gabe's. I had never been there before and I am so sad I haven't because this place is pretty awesome, good prices. Got some pajamas and some leggings, surprise, surprise. So, and then there's a couple of things from at home I'll show you as well. So let's head to the house and we'll do the haul. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me okay. We're home. Um, so I wanted to show you, like I said, do a little bit of a haul of things I got the other day when I was out. I just wasn't filming. First thing I got is this set of, it's like three plastic platters. So they're just like cheap plastic ones, but they have this really cool skull on them. And it was a set of three for $3.99. I don't know if you can see that. I was super excited about this because I figure I might be doing a Halloween party with one of my friends and I thought this would be great for like snacks and foods and I don't know, whatever, but $3.99 for a set of three platters. Like you can't beat that. So if it something happens to them, I didn't spend a lot on it at least. <laughs> this is why I went to at home because I saw this on the website. Actually, I saw it on somebody's YouTube first in their thumbnail and I was like, <gasps> and I didn't honestly know where they had gotten it from. They didn't mention it. It was just something they had in their background. And then I went and I saw it on At Home's website. And I was like, I'm getting that. <laughs> it is this pillow. This is welcome to our coven. Has these spider webs on it. So freaking cute. And then the back of it is this like really gorgeous damask kind of print. There's like a skull. We have some snakes. There's Batsy Batsies. 
I mean, it's just so beautiful. Even Craig was like, I like the green. I was like, well, great, because I like this side. <laughs> this is officially the last pillow. Um, I even got his okay on this one. because so I was like, I, I know I've gotten two, but I really want this one. And if you um, have an at-home near you, sign up for their rewards because every year then they will send you a coupon to use on your birthday for like a percentage off your purchase. And I think for the first couple years, I was getting like 15% off. But this year, since it's like the third or fourth year, I've been... I don't know, part of their rewards thing, it's free. You don't have to pay, it's on a credit card. It's just a rewards thing. And they'll sometimes send you special coupons. And so this year I got 20% off my total purchase. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting this pillow. And you were staying out year round because the spider web on this is just so beautiful and delicate. And it says coven. As a witchy gal, um, this is just perfect for me. Okay, there are two other items I got from at home. I share with you guys. This is um, a black frame. This is not part of their Halloween stuff. It was just in their regular decor. Sorry, Dottie is in the litter box, so she's scratching and cleaning it. Does anybody who has a cat, do they just clean around the edges of it for like 10 minutes after going to the restroom? I'm like, girl, it's good. You can leave now. I got this because I don't know if you guys remember several weeks ago I found those like napkin holder things oh no it was utensil holders which were really strange to me and I don't really do like dinner parties so I had no use for them but I love the artwork it was like these eerie kind of ghosts and my friend Claire had gotten those and she framed one of them and I was like that is such an adorable idea I need to do that as well so I found that honestly this is the same frame she got um it's from at home it was it was $9.99, a little more expensive, but this is like, if you could see the detailing around the edging of this, it's very like, I don't know, almost Victorian, very gothic. I really love it. It goes with a lot of my kind of very gothic decor. So I thought this would be really lovely for that. The other item I got, I'm so, so excited I found. I remember seeing it on the website probably a month or two ago, but never had it in person. I finally saw it. It is this pumpkin with with a bat on it and I love the artwork on this it is very like it's not like cutesy or whatever it's very just like artsy back it's very dark aesthetic there we go focus on the bat I really really love this and the rest of the pumpkin is just white so it's very totally could use this year round it doesn't scream Halloween it just screams like vampire <laughs> and I'm all about that daddy girl Daddy, you want to say hello to everyone? Oh, nope. She doesn't love being held. Oh my gosh, honey. Okay, I just wanted to show everybody. Of course, now she's like, let me get in your lap, mother. It's like, she wants all the loves without you actually picking her up. Okay, let me wrap these two things up and then I'll show you what I got from Gabe's. By the way, I don't know if you guys can see it. I, I got a new shelf. I got this little, I don't know, this little bookshelf kind of thing, entrance. I don't know what they're called. I don't know, it's a table. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. It has these LED lights built in. You could change the color, but these candles, they are the wax candles. Claire had found these at Costco and they're completely battery operated, but there's a remote, so you can turn them on. And the, oh, it doesn't show much. The little wick on it, I don't know if you can tell. Well, the little wick, it makes it look like it's lit. I like that, it's the most realistic of these like, wax candles that I've seen so far and it's real wax so I thought that was cool. I think they look really really pretty but I especially love them with the with the purple so it looks in person it's more like sunset candle. <laughs> I love it. Okay so for Gabe's first of all I did get one of their reusable bags. I love reusable bags especially when I can get any of the Halloween ones so I got that and then they had so much Halloween pajamas. So if you have one near you, go check it out. I don't know if they have a website. I've actually not looked it up. There was so many pajamas, like in plus sizes as well, which was really cool because you don't normally see that. So they had a huge, huge range and for kids, men, women, like everyone. There were so many pajamas. It was amazing. I got, links I got weren't actually pajamas. I got a set of leggings because leggings are life. And it's, these are super, super soft, but <laughs> these kind of like neon witch leggings. I just thought these were super, super fun. Very, very soft. And these were $4.99. I 
I mean, throw this, put like a black t-shirt, black sweater, I don't know, black dress over this. It's perfect. Easy outfit. Next two things I got were just t-shirts because I love a good t-shirt, especially if you can... Daddy's in the bag. I love a good t-shirt because you could add it like with jeans, you could add shorts, you could add like, I don't know, even a skirt with it and kind of dress it up. But the first one I got is this bat shirt. It's gray, like kind of heathered gray with like almost like heathered bats on it. Moons, little stars. I thought this was just really cute. It's again, very, very soft. $5.99 for this. I was really, really pleased. This one was a junior's size. I got like the extra, extra large. Um, I imagine that will fit just fine, but I wasn't sure with it being junior how it was going to run. So I went a little bit bigger than maybe I needed to, but that's okay. I'm not mad about it. The other shirt I got, it should match my new boots. If you guys saw my video last week or follow me on Instagram, you saw I got those Demonia spiderweb boots, which I, I love, I love so, so much, but I saw this spiderweb shirt. Oh, this is really cute. All the different little spider webs with spiders and apparently the spider webs glow in the dark. So I kind of thought that was fun because especially on my boots, I found out those glow in the dark as well. So I would just be a whole glowing spider web thing and it'd be glorious. I like this a lot. This one's a little less soft, but it's just because the actual texture of the spider webs is a little scratchy, but on the inside, oh yeah, the inside's super soft. So that's absolutely fine. That one was, see, $4.99. Prices were super good there for clothes. Like, very impressed. I think for winter, like, finding sweaters, or honestly, just any time of year, I'm probably going to go there to look for clothes because it was really, really good prices. And then this thing, I mean, is not at all Halloween, but um, I feel like it's very witchy, and so I, I had to get it. <laughs> okay, so this one is a, how am I, it's hard to show you guys. It's like a green shot. It's like a very like dark, like foresty green, almost olivey, but very like dark olive green. But it's just this beautiful little shawl. And then there is a hood that has a little bit of like this faux fur around the edging on it. I think it's well, this whole thing is super, super soft. And I would have expected this to be like, I don't know, at least 20 something at Target, but it was, $12.99. I was not mad at that. I was like, oh my gosh. And it was the only green one. And I think this one, yeah, it's a one size kind of thing. So it's just, I knew it'd be fine. It'd be a little bit bigger. I could always wear a sweater under it or a long sleeve shirt. I think this would be great just for like outings in the fall. I can't wait for all the jackets and cozy things. Honestly, I could just put this on and wear it around the house and feel like I'm wearing a blanket without having to wear a blanket. <laughs> and I am here for that. All right, darling, may I have the bag back? Okay, so that is everything. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's probably a little bit shorter than my normal decor ending videos as of late, but it can because I left myself one day to do this. It was hard to get, you know, a movie's worth, a movie length amount of <laughs> stuff to show you all. But I still hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure and hit the bell if you do. That way you'll be notified every single time I post a video. I usually do about two videos a week or so, sometimes a little bit more if I have more content to share with you guys, but um, typically it's gonna be about two videos a week, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. You know, I always appreciate everything. If you're interested in supporting me further, I do have a Patreon. I will leave the information or the link for that down in the description down below. You're welcome to follow that, check it out, check the different tiers and see ways that you can support this channel further. Thank you guys again. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.